Hey guys, welcome back to the Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. And in the last episode, we were going to see what this guy's doing over here. Now, if you go and talk to him, he says, You're that fantastic trainer. Help me in the Fiddleberg Woods. Help me, I was robbed by Team Aqua, my Devon Goods. If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble. So, that guy's just pretty much screwed. So, we had to save him. And here we are, Route 116. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is grab. Oh, I'll battle. Wait a minute. What? I already found it? This is the Pokemon I'm looking for. Oh my god. Wow. I can't believe I actually found it. Okay then, this is a Talo. This is the Pokemon I'm going to catch. Um, you know, I'll just try one more tackle and then I'll throw a Pokeball. Okay, so let's throw a ball at it. Now let's throw our great ball, since um it's going to be kind of hard to catch. So I'm, I don't want to waste it, I'm just going to use a great ball. So there we go, we caught a Talo. Now I have a pretty good idea for a for, uh, nickname. Alright, it's a tiny swallow Pokemon. It's a <laughs> it's kind of like a mini Skarmory. That's what some people say. Only not metal. Now I know what to nickname it. I have a good idea. Why does it seem that any time I catch um, a Talo, it always ends up being a girl? <sighs> okay, super... Bird. <laughs> okay, my control pad is really bad, so that's why I'm having trouble here. So there we go, Super Bird is what I nicknamed it. Ah! Okay, so, uh, Chompy just screwed a level. Ah! Okay, his bug Pokemon are tough, so let's battle. Okay, so this is bug catcher Jose. First, he has a Wurmple on his team. So, actually, now I feel like I'm going to test out Talo. Oh, never mind. Uh -huh. Um, you know what? I'll just switch into Waterlord then. Yeah, I don't want to risk Talo then. Even though it's probably going to use String Shot, but whatever. Water Gun. So let's deal with these things. Oh, Poison Sting, no! Okay, good. Usually I get the worst luck with that. I get the worst luck with it off screen and the best luck with it on screen. Um, next up is Ninkata. Um, this is the one that's, for some reason, um, super effective from, uh, like, water super effective against it. Hold on, let me check something. Okay, so, that Ninkata's dead. And Waterlord did not grow up a level. Okay, um, Ninkata is bugging ground, that's why. Yeah, I just checked my Pokemon handbook. So, let's get this Repel right here. That's what I've been trying to get, but then everyone's, like, blocking me. Ah! Okay, and now I have to, um, I'm gonna use a potion on Talo. So he doesn't die. So there we go. Now we can use him in battle. Against some of those bug catchers. And we need to give him some experience, so we'll put him up front. I mean, her... So here we go. Um. Okay, let's deal with this thing. Okay, my Pokemon rule. Check them out. Why did I just call him a thing? It's a person. Uh, okay. This is Youngster Joey, and first he has a Machop. So that's actually a good choice that I made. Because flying is super effective against fighting. So I'll use Peck. Aw, oh, come on. Still doing nothing. Oh. Okay, good. That did nothing. And one more peck should do it. One more peck should do it. And there we go. We killed the Machop with a critical hit. And so there we go. And Super Bird already grew to level 8. And already learned Quick Attack. Wow. Oh! He almost grew up to level 9. Holy, he's so close. Ah! Okay, that was another Talo. Oh, okay, um, now let's battle this trainer. They study at school, then that means I don't like them. I hate people that study. 
Okay, this is School Kid Karen. First, she has a shroomish. So, again, Superbird is another good choice, because Peck is super effective against shroomish, because it's a grass type. Oh, absorb. Wow, you suck. Oh, okay. That's fine. Uh, now let's use a Peck. And it's going to use Tackle, and it missed! Yay. So let's use a quick attack to, do, to finish this off. And there we go. That shroomish went down. And Superbird already grew to level 9. Superbird's growing up really quick. He's almost um, at Poochie on his level. Poochie on his level 11. So we just beat that trainer. Ah! Uh, that was a, another Poochiena. Um, now over here's a double battle. So I'll switch up my Pokemon. Actually, no, I'm fine. Okay, let's go. It's a hiker and a youngster. So there we go. So, uh, this is another double battle. It is Hiker Clark and Youngster Johnson. First is Geodude, and second is Shroomish. So there we go, another good choice. Um, Peck on Shroomish, Water Gun on Geodude. You guys should know how to deal with this with a Geodude after the first gym. So yeah, it's not that hard. Again, grass is four times super effective against rock, and so is water. And Superbird, Superbird already grew to level 10. It's already one level lower than Poochiana. So let's use... Oh, why did I just do that? <laughs> let's use a Peck on Shroomish, and you know what, a Tackle. Since Peck's going to kill it off anyways. And there we go, a critical hit. So there we go, that Shroomish went down. Uh, and finally, Youngster... Youngster Johnson also has a low tad, which Peck is super effective, so that's fine. You know what, I'll just use a quick attack then. And there we go! Um, so there we go. And we just beat those two trainers. How can losing make you tired? You don't do anything. You just tell them what to do. Oh, here's another hiker. We'll rock you hard. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you will. You would probably like your three Geodudes or something. Oh, two Geodudes, whatever. Alright, let's switch Super Bird. And he's going to go <coughs> to level 11 in this switch. So, yeah. Okay, use Mud Sport. Now, Mud Sport is like the most stupid move for Geodude. Because it's like a. I think it's a ground type move. And it weakens electricity's power, even when electric doesn't even work against um, ground type moves. So Super Bird grew to level 11, and Water Lord grew to level 16, and you all know what that means. Well, if you don't know, uh, then just watch right after this. Uh, next up is the final Geodude, so we'll deal with this thing with a water gun. That's what you get, Geodude. Yeah, right there. Now, if you guys don't know what happens at level 16, with most of the starter Pokemon, you'll see right now. Dun dun dun, the moment we've all been waiting for. Waterlord is evolving. And if you guys don't know, he's evolving into a marsh jump, which makes him part ground. So there it is. Here is our marsh jump. And so there we go. Now, um, right when it evolves, it's going to learn Mud Shot, so I'm definitely going to replace Mud Slap. Yeah, Mud Shot's pretty powerful. You can take out any electric type, pretty much. So there we go, we have a new and, new and improved Water Lord. So in the next episode, we will, be, we will be training more with our Pokemon, and we're going to find the Devon Goods for that man. Stay tuned for more Pokemon Emeralds.